Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the BBC News at One. GCSE pass rates for pupils in England have risen dramatically, up 9% on last year. The exams were cancelled because of coronavirus and today's grades have been awarded by schools. The second wave of BTEC results should also have been released this morning across the UK, but it was announced last night that all BTEC results would be regraded because of concerns about unfairness. Also today, the government has lifted the cap on the number of admissions for some degree courses in England to try to ensure that all students who achieve the required A-level grades will be offered a place at their first choice of university. It affects subjects including medicine, dentistry and teacher training. Well, let's get the very latest from our education correspondent, Dan Johnson, who is at Bexley Heath Academy in South East London. Yes, Jane, if you remember the stress of exam day, then try adding in all these extra complications. The lockdown, the fact learning was disrupted. They haven't been at school for so many months. There were no exams. These were calculated grades and there was so much controversy with that. So many late changes, so much uncertainty. But there have been happy, smiling faces here this morning, particularly for GCSE students, because eventually everything has gone smoothly. But the odds really were stacked against these pupils and there have been so many last minute changes, even just in the last 24 hours or so. So happy faces here this morning and the contrast with the sadness from last week couldn't be clearer. <sighs> Finally, this is relief. Wow. It is reward. Oh, yes. Nice. It is realisation that hard work has been recognised. After days, weeks, months of question marks, now some solid grades and a firm future. I was stressing about what level I'll be doing, but I'm going on to the highest level I can do at college now and I can move on quicker than I thought I was going to. I got a seven in maths. No, I didn't. But confusion Wait, has no, no. defined these results. <laughs> <laughs> and some are still left wondering. BTEC grades are being withheld for a further review. We've even had all that chaos with the BTEC today, but my result, an A, I am absolutely happy with that and even if we do go up that will be even better but right now I've got all the grades I need to get to go to sixth form. It's been very hard over, especially over the past week or so but now that I, I'm just relieved it's all over. I'm scared, I can't, I'm scared but I'm, I'm happy now, I'm relieved. After the outrage over algorithms throwing up unfair grades there was a change of direction and those in charge are still apologising for what students have endured. I would say this to them, congratulations on what you have achieved, but also how sorry I am for the pain, the anxiety and the uncertainty that they will have suffered as a consequence of the grading issues uh, that we encountered last week. And to reassure them uh, that we are doing everything we can to put these matters right. There were warnings weeks ago that this was coming. Now there are further calls for someone to take responsibility. This is no way to treat young people. You psych yourself up to get your results. Uh, you've been expecting that you would know today where you stood so that you could make plans for the next step in your career or further study. You've been utterly let down. Morning. How are we? Some students were facing downgrades because of their school's previous performance. Over the last 12 months, the school has changed an awful lot. And what we would have seen in, in the previous system is that the grades that students have been awarded today would have been um, downgraded quite dramatically and so I'm left feeling very relieved that students have walked away with the grades that they absolutely deserved. It could have been handled a lot better and things could have been done a lot sooner but at the end of the day things were sorted eventually. But there have been so many tweaks after so many chances to get this right. To have a computer predict maybe what you're going to get or you know what you're not going to get. Um, the devastation for them was just really hard to watch and bear. Um, but when the government done a U-turn, it was kind of like deep breaths, relief. You know what's going to be now will will be. And um, yeah, today's today's good. There are more regrades to come, though the impact should be limited. There's a lot to celebrate after all the upheaval. There are also so many questions about how these results were so badly handled.
and other issues to resolve from this. How many more students, pupils are going to be heading to sixth form colleges, to further education, to university? How will they be accommodated? Where will they fit? That all has to be worked out now. And there are still some futures in jeopardy. How much of a difference will those regrades make? We know that students won't suffer, but it's still going to take more time to resolve that issue with the BTECs to ensure that they are fair. And then there is the big question about the futures of those who've overseen this mess. Dan, thank you. Dan Johnson there. Well